Okay, screws are out. Unplugged it. And yeah, it popped right out. So, yeah, now, now that all that stuff's taken out, you know, this... And you get to see the inside of this thing. It's not, it's not nearly as intimidating as when you first start out. I mean, <laughs> if you get anxiety like tearing stuff apart and getting into the nitty gritty of things, then yeah, it's a little uncomfortable at first. But uh, I think once you've gotten this far, you're already feeling pretty confident about you know how this is set up and and how to do it. So. What's this? Okay, some kind of just uh, not sure what that is, but okay. So now I'm gonna try to put the uh, the Korean in here. So this is my key. I used one of the failed attempts here to make a, a key for my wires and. Uh, Here's the Korean joystick, Crown 309 MJ. Uh, tension grommet. So this looks familiar, right? Except I have no idea which direction I'm supposed to put it in. So I have a feeling that's going to be trial and error. That sucks, unless I can find out online just way, which way I'm supposed to put it in. Gonna have to figure out how to do that. And then uh, ooh. Oh, I see. So, looks like each of these is going to have to go into one of those connections. I see. So, this is the wiring harness. This is the adapter to plug into PCB. So one, two, three, four. Hmm. more connectors than I thought. Oh, I see. There's, there's two for each one. Okay. Alright. So that will most likely determine uh, which direction. I'm going to have to find out before I move forward just how I'm supposed to assemble this. Oh, and I think I need to open this up to replace this tension grommet as well, so. All right, to be continued. Front face screws off this, and it starts wobbling, so let's see what happens. You take it off. The, the default tension grommet, which I think is 25T. So, wow. Okay. I guess they're color coded. Bottom 
gonna put this one instead. So, just like how I found it, right? I'm gonna put this all back together. So, tension grommets in place. This obviously goes here. I'm going to have to unscrew this, put the plexi on. This is going to go on top of the plexi. Uh, see, now we're getting some action here. Um, this is my first experience using a Korean lever, but I can already tell um, just because of that that tension grommet, I guess that's silicone or something, there's much more resistance. So it's going to return to neutral quicker. And then uh, you're going to need to put this on here in order to hold everything in place. But that's going to have to come after I've put the plexi with the art and figure out how to do this wiring harness. I guess the black is ground. So there's one, two, three, four pairs. One for each direction. And yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out or research which goes where. I did some research and I found a nice uh, article on focus attack that had a diagram. Uh, looks like the, um, the micro switches. You're going to put the color wires here and the ground. So the ones that extend more are going to get the, the color one. This is going to be ground. And there's a color coded diagram on focusattack.com in one of the articles. Not necessarily for Quanba, but it shows, um, it shows how you're supposed to connect this. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so we got green on top red, yellow, orange, and then this is the um, this is the direction it's going to go back into the stick. And that's important if you want the directions to line up the way they are supposed to. Okay, and I'm going to connect this back to the 5 pin connector and screw this back in. The Korean lever is screwed in. Um, before I connect this connector for the stick, I, I guess I'll do the, the buttons first. So I'm going to now put the custom artwork in the clear buttons and um, reattach the front plate first.